Hello everybody, this is Grandpops. Come fly with me on the 109 F4 here. We've taken off, beautiful day out, and what our intentions are is we're going to climb to the right outermost base, try to gain as much altitude as we can, and from there we're going to turn in and run parallel to, with the other bases while climbing so we can intercept bombers or turn in the intercept fighters depending what target of opportunities arise. So, we're climbing, taking a look around, nobody's close to us. It is a pretty plain 109 F4. Very good climber, good dog fighter. Well, I say dogfighter, you can make one or two good turns, and then you better be looking for an exit. Okay, we're just about above our right outermost base, and there's really nothing close by. So what we're going to do is turn and run parallel to the other bases while climbing. And what that does is uh, lets us keep gaining altitude and sets us up for any intercepts of uh, any bombers that might have gotten through. And as you can see, there's a B-25 out in the distance. We're going to turn to the right of him, behind him, just in case he decides to turn the head towards his base. But as we go, we notice that he's not going to turn and go back to his base, so we need to intercept. So we set our course for an intercept course ahead of him why we're climbing but we're not going to climb as much we're going to level off just a little bit so we can gain some airspeed here don't know if my ally there is going to get him or not yeah, he's turning off so that leaves him to us so we level off gain some more speed uh oh now he turned into us good move on his part so all we can do at this point Let's try to get a pop shot on him. Oh, we got a couple of hits. Didn't hurt him. So we turn around. This is the dangerous part when it comes to taking on a bomber. They got very good back guns. We're going to go a little lower to pick up speed. Get off to his side where he has no guns on us. And come up from below and try to get him. This is very hard to do. It takes a lot of practice. Got a couple hits. Obviously, I need more practice. We take a chance and get behind him. Hope for a quick kill. Boom! We get our quick kill. He did damage us a little bit, but not too bad. We're lucky. So we get one kill. Now we turn over, and resume what we were doing, parallel in the bases and climb. There's an LO5 ranging up on us. He's trouble. So, we don't like doing this, but we go head on with him. Boom, we get him. Blew him apart. So that's kill number two, and that was lucky on our part. It's not a good thing to go head on with any other plane. But we really didn't have much choice. Okay. We had a choice to go up there and try to get for that P-61, but we decided to descend and help our teammates down here with these fighters. Because the longer you can keep your fighter teammates in the game, the better chances are of winning the game. We cut throttle, we come down, we look to see what's happening. Don't see anyone else close to us. So we're going to set up on that F4. Got to keep an eye on that XP-55 though. Okay, our teammate gets off of him. And we engage. Boom. We got some hits on him. Hurt him really bad. And he goes down to the ground. Yep. And that's a kill. Kill number three. We look around. There's that XP. We're on his six. That's a good thing. So we engage him. 
he's hard to hit. Next B is pretty squirrely. Looking at their stats, you wouldn't think they'd be that great, but well, for some reason they are. Watch that PE over there. Get a couple of hits on them. Oh, my teammates don't shoot me. Get some flaps, turn around on them. Oop, got him on fire. Make sure he's dead. Boom, now he's gonna burn out. He's dead, and that gives us kill number four. And we're gonna climb, get some altitude. We see that PE over there, which is a bomber. And we look around. There's a P-61 and there's a bullfighter. We're going to have to watch that bullfighter. Looks like he's coming this way. So we line up with the PE-2. The same token, keep, try to keep an eye on this bullfighter. I lost him. Not sure where he went. There he is. Coming in on our teammate. Can't help him there. But he flew right in front of us. Uh, that's like a Christmas present, so we engage him. Just happy he didn't decide to try to engage me, because I'd never seen him until it would have been too late. Boom, couple hits. Now this is a bad idea, but we're going to do it anyway. It's late in the game. Get some more hits, more hits, and we get a kill. But he peppered us with his rear gun. It hurt us bad. Hurt my engine really bad. We turn and we head back towards the airfield for repair. There's a P61 there, it's the only one left I see. And he's going the other way, so he's no danger. Now we want to kind of climb and get a little altitude, but we notice. We cannot gain altitude, and we are losing airspeed. That's what happens when you stay too long, too long behind a plane with rear guns. That's what did it to us. That bow fighter with the rear guns he nailed our engine. The only thing we could do is try to make it, but as we fly along and we're losing altitude, we're losing speed, we're too far away. We know we're not going to make it. So what we're going to do is uh, look for a field where we can land this thing. Because if the plane crashes, you got to pay the whole cost of the repair. But if you can make a, what they call a soft landing, the repair isn't quite as much as a complete repair. So if you're short on silver landing, silver lions, Try to make a soft landing rather than crashing. That way it won't cost you quite as much to uh, repair your plane. Okay, we're all the way down below 100 miles an hour. We know we're not going to make it. So we pick out our field, which is that one there on the right, we decide. We turn into it. There's nobody else around us, so we're in no danger of getting shot up. Watch out for that tree. Oop. Flaps down, gear down. Boom, we got a bouncer in there a little bit, but that's okay. And we come to a halt, which tells me I made a soft landing. And my repair bill was not as quite as much as a whole repair. And with that, I hope you enjoyed the game with Grandpops, with the Walker Wolf, or the BF-109 F4 model. Have a good day.